bioenergy refers to power that is generated from organic matter known as biomass. We heard earlier in the programme that Shell is planning a biofuel plant in Singapore in part to lower its emissions. And if we look at electricity being generated in Britain right now, uh, we can see 7% uh, of that is coming from biomass, most of which is from burning wood chips. It is officially designated as renewable because those wood chips come from sustainable plantations. So how big a role should biofuels play in the transition to a low carbon economy? Uh, George, this is your topic. Let's put that question to you first. I think the role should be about zero. It's an outrageous scam. And um, so if you look at a situation like Drax, they appear to have lower carbon emissions because of a carbon accounting convention, which says that you don't count carbon dioxide produced from burning mashed up trees, because one day trees will grow back to replace the ones you've mashed up. Well, the one day is the crucial issue. It could take decades to absorb that carbon which you've just released, and we don't have decades. We need to front load our environmental action. They're doing exactly the opposite. And what we're seeing is a massive new wave of forest destruction caused by this supposedly green technique of burning biomass. And we're seeing in some cases, old growth forests in Europe and in North America being felled to be turned into wood chip and burnt. It's an absolute disgrace and it needs to stop. Julie, biomass is classified as a, a renewable fuel. Is it clean or is it dirty as George has described? Um, biomass can make a useful contribution. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we have a lot of commercial forestry in the UK, that forestry needs to be thinned. There are trees um, which are, are not fit for um, producing, uh, you know, for, for using in, in construction and things. Uh, those thinnings can be used usefully for biomass. And indeed, if we can use appropriately produced biomass, and I agree with George, it's really critical that we ensure it is appropriately produced. If we can use that in the future with carbon capture and storage, uh, that can play um, a small but significant role in, uh, in giving us negative emissions and get, helping us get to net zero. But I agree with him, it does have to be extremely carefully managed. Uh, George, it, it's better than fossil fuels, isn't it? No, it isn't. Um, forestry thinnings and waste are always used as a Trojan horse to enable much bigger operations to go ahead. We sold the idea on the basis that it'll be waste products used. It's it, invariably, we end up with um, fresh material being used, entire forest areas being cut down and fed into these burners. It's really disgraceful. And the whole idea of bioenergy with carbon capture and storage, it is unicorn poo. It's a total pipe dream. And honestly, we should just drop this nonsense and get on with a genuinely clean energy revolution based on renewables and I think also fourth generation nuclear. Uh, 10 seconds to get a final answer from you then, Julia. Um, well, appropriately used sustainable biomass forms part of the Climate Change Committee's pathway to net zero. Thank you very much. Very succinct, uh, Julia King. George Monbiot, thanks very much indeed for joining us here on The Daily Climate Show this evening.